Hi, I'm Keith and I'm going to show you how to check the hydraulic oil on a Ditchwich SK755. So you don't overfill it. I use a pour jug, it makes it a little bit controlled when you use buckets and such, but the Tecmo oil is a great brand that I use. Now we put the cap back on, we double check our sight glass. So to check the hydraulic oil level on this machine, it's under this hatch. Should we open up this hatch, make sure the safety's engaged. And you can see this here is the sight glass. There's a little red ball in it. That ball floats in hydraulic oil. Right now it's at the bottom, so we know it's low. We have a lid right here. We open up this lid. Now you're gonna have a hard time pouring a bucket straight in that lid. If you have a smaller container, that's not a problem. There is a little screen in here. What this screen is for is if you happen to have any contaminants in your funnel or your container, it'll catch the bigger stuff and it won't let it enter the hydraulic system. So we like to leave that in. We don't wanna take that out. There's many different brands of oil out there. In this case, I use Tecamo branded oil. This is an AW46. What the AW46 is, is the viscosity of the oil. So depending on what climate you're in and your temperatures is gonna depend on what type of oil you use as in the AW46. But the Tecamo oil is a great brand that I use. If you wanna purchase Tecamo branded oil, please, the link will be in the description. I use a pour jug. It makes it a little bit controlled when you use buckets and such. If you have a one liter containers, it might be easier to pour in. Or if you have four liter jugs, you can also use a funnel if you put a funnel on here. You want to make sure the top of your bucket when you pour it in a container or into a funnel or into any hydraulic compartment is clean so no dirt falls off the top of your bucket into what you're pouring into. Now as you pour this you want to be able to have a clear sight of the sight glass so you don't overfill it. I can see my oil came up in the sight glass. You can see the level of the oil in the sight glass and you can see the little red ball slowly floating to the top of the oil. I know that this machine now has adequate hydraulic oil in it. You don't want to overfill this hydraulic oil because this tank is designed to have some airspace inside of it. And what that's for is as you operate this machine and you lift the arm up and down and you tilt the bucket and you track it, it, this cap allows air to go in but not back out and it creates a little bit of a positive pressure on the top to help push the oil into the pumps. If you have too much oil in there, the positive pressure will be a little bit too high, can cause seal damage. If you have it too low, there won't be enough air, positive air pressure in the tank and that means the pumps have to pull the oil in, making the pumps work harder. Now we put the cap back on, we double check our sight glass, we know that we're topped up and that's how you check it. And that's how you check the hydraulic oil on a Ditchwich SK755. Please like, comment and subscribe.